Marie Antoinette and Louis XVI's sex life had been in constant scrutiny for eight years. When Marie Antoinette finally announced she was pregnant, gossip and satirical pamphlets were circulated of all the possible fathers it could be. Marie would, like many before her, have to give birth in public in order to make sure that there were no substitutions made, a boy for a girl, or a living baby for one that might have passed away. When Marie finally went into labor, a bell was rung and all pandemonium broke loose. Crowds rushed to rooms that were as close as they could possibly get, some onlookers even breaking into the inner rooms to get a bird's eye view. Marie labored for 12 hours. Her first chambermaid wrote of the event, the etiquette allowing all persons indiscriminately to enter at the moment of the delivery of a queen was observed with such exaggeration that when the obstetrician said aloud, the queen is going to give birth, the persons who poured into the chamber were so numerous that the rush nearly killed the queen. It was impossible to move about the chamber, which was filled with so motley a crowd that one might have fancied himself in some place of public amusement. Two chimney sweeps climbed upon the furniture for a better sight of the queen. Because of the heat and lack of fresh oxygen in the room, Marie had a convulsive fit and fainted. She gave birth to a small baby girl who she named Marie Therese. <laughs> 